If John Carpenter's legendary The Thing is going to get a revival, it should follow the blueprint set by Prey. Released in 2022, Prey was a shot in the arm for the Predator franchise. While the film embraces the key elements of the sci-fi action films that came before it, it also reinvigorated the premise by shifting focus to a Native American tribe in the 17th century northern wilds. It was a clever idea, utilizing core concepts and iconic aspects of the franchise while exploring it from a fresh perspective. Prey was a terrific idea for a film, with the simple act of relocating the story reinvigorating the Predator franchise. This success could easily be translated to other horror-slash-sci-fi movies in search of a new direction that also honors the elements that made them successful in the first place. There's one film in particular that could benefit from a similar approach. In fact, it might be the best way for the franchise to return to the big screen and still feel fresh. The Thing should use Prey's blueprint for a successful revival. The Thing franchise should try to learn from Prey's success and apply it to their future entries in the series. Based on John W. Campbell Jr. novella Who Goes There? Which also inspired 1951's The Thing from Another World, all three versions of The Thing focus on the titular alien life form. Frozen for centuries until being discovered by humans in Antarctica, the creature replicates living beings. As it spreads through the group, the surviving humans are tasked with figuring out what it is and how to stop it, all while combating their own fears and paranoia. It's a great and quietly adaptable concept, one that could potentially work in numerous settings. However, The Thing hasn't really gotten the chance to prove that. Instead, both adaptations of Campbell Jr.'s story, as well as the 2011 prequel to John Carpenter's film, also titled The Thing, have remained firmly locked in their modern perspectives. Instead, there might be a Great Thing movie that relocates the threat and changes the focus, placing the events in a far distant past and forcing a less technologically advanced group to confront an unknowable and unbeatable threat. The 80s sci-fi horror movie already has the perfect story for a prequel movie. The Thing The Northman Nightmare. In fact, there's already a tie-in comic that highlights how well The Thing would translate to other time periods and settings instead of following up on the ending of The Thing. The Thing, The Northman Nightmare, by Steve Niles, Patrick Reynolds, Dave Stewart, Nate Pikos, and Blambit, takes place centuries before the events of the other films. The story focuses on a group of Norsemen traversing through the frozen landscape of Greenland. However, they encounter a shape-shifting and eternally adapting creature in a desolate village. The story retains the natural tension and horror that comes from the premise of the thing. However, by relocating the action and story to the distant past, the Northman nightmare is able to infuse the concept with unique elements that bring a sense of fresh terror to the familiar idea. The Northman nightmare takes away the technological advances that Mac and his allies can rely on in the thing, giving the story a harsher and more desperate edge. It makes the horror all the more unknowable and alien. A story like The Northman Nightmare highlights the elements that make the thing work so well, and how adaptable it is in terms of setting.